guys, it's Lee Jung. Welcome back to the channel and it has been a while since I've made one of these videos. It should be quite interesting because today if you are watching this, Happy Deepavali! It is the Monday, it is the public holiday and the roads are like super empty. So yeah, if you're watching this, Happy Deepavali uh, if you do celebrate it. But today I'm on the road because I'm actually headed towards Satya City Convention Center. There is this thing called Tees and Tires. Um, T and Tires. I'm getting my words a little bit wrong. For those of you watching this who don't know what tea and tires is, it is basically it's like a local celebration of cars. You get stuff like Japanese imports, Europeans. Um, you also get local bills like really souped up Satria news and stuff like that. So it's been a while since I've been to one of these. I think the last one I went to was in 2019. So yeah, I mean that was post COVID. So it's been a while. But today, I'm actually bringing a friend. Uh, it's my buddy, Daniel. And the thing about Daniel is that he's a car guy as well, but he's ever only loyal to one main brand, and that's Mercedes-Benz. To him, anything that's not tri with the TriStar logo, he's not interested in. So I'm gonna see if I could change that opinion of his. Funny enough, even though he's loyal to the TriStar brand, he works a Porsche. <laughs> Which is very appropriate because that's exactly what we're in now. So. I'm on my way to pick up Daniel, and let's see where this goes. Oh, I just want to take a second to say that it is actually such a beautiful day. It's perfect for, It's perfect to host this event today because it rained last night. When I was asleep, I didn't hear it, but now that I'm up, it's actually a little bit chilly outside, so it's perfect for a day for to host a car meet. I'm actually look, quite looking forward to this, but... Uh, yeah, still a little bit of traffic in and about KL. Um, we're stuck at a red light somewhere about Ardham. Oh, it just went green. Hey, and just like that, there he is. <laughs> Dude, what the heck? We're matching. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are the odds, man? So this is Daniel, guys. He'll be joining me and I'll be attempting to change his mind about uh, thinking that Mercedes is the only car that's worth any form of praise. Um, but yeah, I guess we're going to make our way now to City City Convention Center. It's like my arm is all the way out. Alright. And here we are. It's so funny, funny that we're color coordinated. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> look at, look at what he's wearing, and look at what I'm wearing. <laughs> yeah, brothers. Hey, 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 hey. So the Porsche is in very <laughs> foreign <laughs> company. We have so much going on here. Yeah, there's lots and lots the of Japanese cars. Oh yeah, we've got a 718 hiding back here. It's not really hiding in a slam city. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Oh, dude, look at that. E46, man. E46? Oh, e for speed bikes. oh, yeah, 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 I see it, I see it. Okay, okay, all right. So, he may he may be a tri-star guy, right? But he, he can forgive a BMW, right? <laughs> An M BMW. Oh, it's clean as well, look at this. It's actually so rare to find like an untouched example of an E46. So we finally got here, we haven't even actually been inside the convention center yet. We're so distracted by quite literally everything that's around here right now. So you know what? Cue the B-roll.
this is what I mean, right? Try Star Boy. You got an ocean of JDMs, BMWs, GT3 RSs, classic Porsches in the back, but no. This is what gets his attention. White wall tires, man. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, la, okay, la, I'll give it to you. La. It's a good looking thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, chrome. Camera chrome. over there, my guy. Chrome side mirrors, chrome side mirrors. You don't yeah, see yeah, those yeah. anymore? Yeah? No way, he's got the Evo 2 spoiler, man. He's gonna flip out. He's gonna <laughs> flip out. Because we found one of the ultimate tri-star cars here. This. Yeah, what is it? Come on, tell, tell our viewers uh, so what it is. Over here, it's a 190E. It's a 2.3-16 horsepower. And it's got the Evo 2 body kit. Obviously not stock wheels, but... <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> now, for those of you who know the Mercedes brand, there's a good to fair chance that if you're not a hardcore enthusiast for this brand, you will not know this car because I'm not sure whether this is a genuine model, but if I'm not wrong, this is like a homo... Is this a homologation unit? So, it's like, a homologation race car for DTM back in the day, right? So long story short, DTM back in the day, uh, in fact today, is still a race series. But in order to qualify your car into that race, there needs to be a certain, a minimum number of homologated road version going of road going versions of that car. And this is exactly what they are. A genuine one would be how much did we see that a genuine one of these would cost again? Like three hundred thousand euros, right? Or about two fifty, something like that. Yeah, for the two point. Yeah. yeah, there's a quick rundown. The difference between this and a standard E Class from back in the day you get wider, flared wheel arches, you get a big wing on the back. The car sits lower across the board, and you get the badges at the back as well. It says 190E on the left and 2.5 16. I think that means two and a half liters, 16 valve. Sorry, it's quite loud because the cars are drifting on the other side, but uh, yeah, that's kind of like a run through. You have to give it to the owner though, he did a really good job because he's even got the big brakes inside. That's that's pretty impressive. Replica or not, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Okay, what do you think of a C63 Black Series? What do you think? I think it's no different from C200. <laughs> Big V8, naturally aspirated. I'm not really into the AMG cars. Especially not the Black Series, is it? Especially not the Black Series. <laughs> but Mercedes, Mercedes, la, so can't go wrong. I love them. I love them. This thing start up ruthless exhaust note. I think this is with a naturally aspirated V8. Yeah, right. I think it makes like 570 horsepower, something like that. Yeah, quite a lot. But I don't like it because it doesn't really fit into the whole country club scene. I don't think you can go golfing with this. For some context, he likes golf now, so you have to forgive him. <laughs> what are your thoughts about this? Okay, this... Are you saying people say it's the ugliest because of the egg yolk lights? Yes, because of the egg yolk lights. But this one is a facelift, so it doesn't have the orange amber, so it looks less eggy. Yeah. 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 Wait, how do you tell it's a facelift? Um, the, lights, the bottom part usually would be orange. Prices, okay? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And in so right, 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 right. Okay, okay. All right. Center, there is a lot of stuff happening. You can't even buy one of these well if you want one now. Uh, you can. They're not, they're not that expensive. No, no, no. But you can't actually find them for sale. This is a genuine GT3, by the way. Oh. It's not. It's not a kit. It's a genuine GT3. made our way into the uh, the actual exhibition hall. Uh, funny enough, the hall's actually not open, but down here in the main area, there's this new electric uh, EV company called Apollon. Apparently, they're from China, and they are launching their new car here for the Malaysian market, I think. Because that's kind of why this one out here is on display, which is a four-door unit. And there's one more somewhere out there in the back, which is a two-door unit. So what's your opinion on this? Um, no opinion at all, just... Well, 
<laughs> Things are busy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. No, it's really nice. It looks really stylish. Uh, I wish they had displayed it in any other color other than pink. Yeah, pink is a bit <laughs> much. Because correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the mistake that they made here is that they made the exterior and interior color the same. Yes. And it's not yes. black, so it doesn't really work. You are right. Yeah. This looks like. Wait, where's Barbie and Ken? <laughs> <laughs> well, Barbie is literally over there. Oh, Barbie's and here. Ken's holding the camera, so. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, okay. Just look at the back seats. Like you can already tell that they're not um, supporting for the back. You know? Do you think this is a prototype vehicle, though? Um, it could be. But then again, they're giving away like I think three of these later at the lucky drop. So. Oh, this I is the one this that they're giving away. Could be the one that they're giving oh, away. Oh, okay. So how it works is that when you show up for the event, they have a booth outside that you can actually get registered, download their app, and they'll give you goodies, which Daniel already has. Uh, yes. So he has the app in his phone, which means that he's actually um, qualified to be part of the lucky draw. And they're giving away three of these cars for free to anyone here who signs up. I think it's like the first 2,000 entries or something, but yeah. Daniel might be going home in an EV. I can't imagine you driving one of these. Mr. Tri-Star right. Mercedes Came Benz. in a Porsche, going back in an EV. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> you know, like exposed screws and stuff like that. It's like, oh, yeah. it's like Chairman Mao did it in his backyard. <laughs> <laughs> and my video's about to get demonetized and banned. <laughs> Chairman Sorry, Mao. Chairman Mao. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'll give them props around the back. What do you think? Right, it's got like a little Honda CRZ thing going on here with the Porsche light bar. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have to say, it looks it looks better from the back than it does from the side and the front. That's what I think. Although this, we we haven't actually mentioned the suicide doors yet. Yes, because it makes you want to commit suicide. <laughs> That's actually the history of those doors, you know, you know that, Seriously, right? Rolls Royce, know. Rolls Royce were the ones that pioneered the suicide doors, but in the really early versions of their car, when the car gets fast enough, air actually gets caught into the rear door, so it flips open. And that's why it's dangerous to the passengers. That's why, that, that's how it got its name, Suicide Doors. Yeah, I that's, that. that's, based on what, uh, that's based on what I read anyway. It's for the history lesson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> suicide Doors. We've kind of moved away from the actual event space now because it is a little bit loud there so it's hard to talk into a camera and we're out here just walking around in the car park just seeing what's up so right over here we've got this uh, really nice M5 I'm not sure what color that is but I know that some people who might watch this video and say like oh it's a very specific shade of BMWs yeah, it's the sample what? <laughs> it's Indian blue. It's yeah. Deepavali, man. Yeah, happy Deepavali. <laughs> Indian blue. Check this out, check this out here. <laughs> Looks to me like a 2008, if I'm not mistaken, Porsche Cayman 987. It's got a 2.7 litre flat six. Oh, he reads the brochure. It's also the car that we came in. <laughs> so let's move on. Um, <laughs> whole lineup of Suzuki Swifts. I'm a fan of these things, by the way. They're very, it's a very fun car. Oh, hello. This is a nice. Yeah, I'm a fan of these things by the way, you put a right kit on it, it looks stock. really good. It's got to be an orange dude. Okay, fair enough, yeah, yeah, I feel you, yeah. Oh, this guy is killing it with a detachable steering wheel, okay, alright. Oh, these are rare. Hey, what do you think? Ford yeah. Fiesta ST. Nice. These are nice, come on, you got to give it to it, right? Alright, I, yeah. I think these are like every English bloke's like first performance is sports car on a budget sort of yeah yeah it kind of like if you work hard enough as a college student you save enough money you yeah. can actually get one of these used yeah yeah, yeah. yeah but they're really good fun yeah. <laughs> oh we just walked closer back to the show and uh, we found this my viru okay all right <laughs> oh, that's quite creative it's quite cute finally something all right what lexus is Oh my god, <laughs> this V6. is alright to you? 2.5 liter V6. Ah, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, I have a question for you. What do you think of these? Oh, shit. EGs, huh? Yeah. Uh, Mixed bag of opinions, yes. huh? Mr. Mixed Montero. Bag. I can really appreciate them, but uh, not my cup of tea. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Because yeah. to be honest, I kind of feel the same way. I was crazy over these in college. 
MR2. MR2. I think everyone was crazy over these at one point. Because when they first came out, people were calling these the poor man's Ferrari. Because <laughs> when you paint it red, from a distance it looks like a 355. Back where uh, we started. Can't go wrong with a Mercedes, can you? <laughs> yeah. W124. And yet somehow, we end up walking back to this thing over here. <laughs> Just ignores everything in the parking lot, including that white Cayman back there. Just goes back to that old Mercedes. Can't get enough of it. You like the FTO? Uh, it's got a 2 liter V6, makes a nice sound. It's got a 2 liter V6? Yeah, it's the V6 they use in the Perdana V6. Oh, okay. Oh, I recognize this car. He, he was going through Arada Mantara once, I think. And if, I, if I'm not wrong, if this is the actual unit, uh, it has like a turbo in it. So when he accelerates, it makes that... <laughs> not surprised. So we've come back to the front just to re-examine what we may have missed and lo and behold we actually found a 3, what is this, 3 series wagon, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, something. I have to ask because I've been asking this on some social media groups, right? What's the hype about wagons? I think it's just here in Malaysia because it's uh, it's not very common. I don't think the dealerships actually sell these models, so you got to special order them from Germany. Because there's a lot of hype around wagons, even in like Europe. But I so. think if you go to the UK, like almost everyone drives a wagon and it's a diesel. That's right? true. Yeah, Probably that's true. Know. Yeah, yeah. yeah wagon. It's still a cool little thing that we missed over here. And now we come on to this. Uh, this is a facelifted 911, 997. So this is a 997.2. What do you think of this look with those? Uh, I think they're called Workmeister wheels. Um, not much comment on the wheels, but I think this would be one of my favourite 911s because it's the last, um, you would say, mechanical mm. 911s. Last one with the hydraulic power, uh, power yeah, steering rack, yeah. uh, but first generation with a PDK. Yes, correct. So what do you think about PDK? I'm, no, I'm happy with the PDK, but what really takes it away from me, because I, I generally don't like modded cars and stuff, but this looks so good because this, this reminds me of the 70s it's like almost like a heritage edition version of Porsche or Porsche um, you get the Carrera livery by the side and it matches with the wheels as well I, I feel I feel like that's that's very tasteful but what do you think about the little spoiler oh duck I, I don't know about you but I love ducktail spoilers ducktail spoilers are great what do you think yeah it's great Oh, that wasn't very confident. It's <laughs> uh, alright, I don't think this is uh, factory fitted though. Oh, definitely not, definitely not. But these days you can get a factory fitted ducktail spoiler, right? On some models, like, I think. Actually, you can, it's part of the equipment package. Oh, uh, the what? It's equipment package. Oh, okay, fair. Yeah. Oh, nah, hey, okay. This is one to talk about. <laughs> GT3 RS. Oh, no, no. This is a 3.8, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, someone in the comments, if I got that wrong, you can correct me. Six speed manual, I don't even know how much. Oh, an M3 just turned up, a new M3. Uh, but before we get distracted, so what do you think of these? Um, Stripped out interior, racing yeah. harnesses, manual gearbox. <sighs> Come yeah, on. Really great cars, but uh, the race tax material, it's a bit too racy for me. The roll cage in the seats, okay, fair. Yeah. not really a big fan. Alcantara, all yeah. that, not, not really for you, right? Yeah, not really. Uh, neither, not, not, neither is it for me, it's like, I want a car that I can actually live with, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's gotta be this, my guy. <laughs> Porsche Boxster. <laughs> oh. The color combo, the silver, I'm assuming he's got the red interior as well. I to have to look. give it to you. I always think soft tops need to be black, but in this combination, silver, red roof, I think it works. I think it works. Until, well, at least until you make your way around this side and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and speaking of which, here comes another 911. Nice wheels, nice color. So coming back between, coming back to this corner, between these two cars, which is the one that you would have? You have the old 997.2 GT3 RS or the 991.1 GT3 standard. Well, I guess it would be the GT3 for me because it's less racy, but. Um, got the PCCB brakes. Oh, so common ceramics, is it? Yes, my guy. Do those come fitted on as standard? Um, on a GT3, I think you can get steels. Yeah. It's only the RS that come fitted on standard. I think on GT cars, it 
Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, this guy's got a PDK man. Yeah, definitely a PDK. It's a bit dark, but yeah, you can see the gearbox right there. In red. Chrono pack. Yeah. I think he's got an aftermarket exhaust system as well. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah. Okay, enough about Porsches. I want to take you out of your comfort zone. To my right, there is a Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera and a Lamborghini Huracan Performante. Both, well, technically the successor to its predecessor. Is this called a Spider or is that a fancy name for the convertibles? Spider, yeah. Spider. Yeah. Convertibles, exactly. Yeah, so. so why, why do they call it Spiders? Because it's a soft top, the roof comes off. But why, why Spider? I don't know man, they started calling them spiders before I was born. <laughs> For context, uh, Daniel is not a Lamborghini man, he doesn't like Lamborghini so... Okay, between the two, which which calls your name more? Shit, they're both so nice, I'll definitely go for the convertible. I'm a huge fan of Oh nice, so suddenly we like Lambos now. <laughs> have, I, have I changed your mind? Has it worked? Not really man. <laughs> but less, lesser of the two evils. Lesser of the two evils. Okay, fair enough. Between these two, I think I have to go with the Super Legera. I grew up as a teenager with these cars. I love these things. And I do think that this sounds better as well. Really? I think so, so they yeah. V10? They're both V10s. They both, I think they both use the same engines ish. Um, but obviously, the Performante gets newer parts. I mean, you can walk around the front. Um, but with that said, the Gyro has a clean clean exhaust note compared to the Hurricanes. Uh, yeah, you, you, you get what I mean? Do the brake calipers come stuck? The Italian flag on them? Oh yeah, on the Tricolori. Yeah, you can set up as an option uh, and Lamborghini will give it to you. So around here we have the previous GT3 RS. I know we're throwing a lot of Porsche names around and it's a little bit confusing, but all you need to know about this car is that this came before that one over there. So that one is just like half a generation newer than this one, but they do sit on the same platform. Okay, Daniel, between this and that one back there, which one? Uh, I have to shit. take that one. I think I'll take the Lizard Green. Really? I think it stands out more. Okay, fair. But either way, even if you did have the money to buy any one of these, it's so hard to find one for sale because they are so rare. But it's nice to see that they're both here today. So for all you Formula 1 enthusiasts, we actually have a Mercedes AMG GTR Pro here, decked out in last year's safety car livery. And it's very nicely detailed. You get um, <laughs> the whole Wii race as one campaign, the rainbows, you get the lights on the top although those may be illegal i'm not sure i hope the owner removes them when he's actually driving on the road uh but uh yeah it's a really nicely done example you could almost mistaken this as a genuine safety car if you've never seen one for yourself he's even got the plates look at that and i so happen to know that the guy that owns this also owns this over here this is not a genuine formula one car but it is a very very cool replica it's been getting a bit of attention from all the visitors who have been coming but yeah very very cool i don't think there's a seat in it but still it's quite it's quite a sight to behold I think we're right at the end of this video at this point. <laughs> My hair's coming apart. 115, we've been here since 11 and just been like walking circles, just seeing what's up, seeing the crowd pile in just as I run below this tree. But it's actually getting quite hot now because, you know, obviously it started out cloudy and cooling and now it's just typical Malaysian sun. G Wagon, where? Oh, yeah, someone's pulled up in the G Wagon. Nice. Well, we are back where we sort of started, right here at this supercar stand if that's what you can call it but yeah it's been a pretty fun day out what do you think oh sorry are you talking <laughs> to me <laughs> yeah, so what do you think yeah i had a lot of fun here it's not it's bad right a great event a lot of cars still still think still think the tristar is the go-to huh? uh definitely <laughs> hands down um you can see over there, it's the Ferrari FF Legion. Oh yeah, there he is. And on that note, I think this more or less wraps up this video. Thanks so much for watching guys, if you've actually made it this far. Um, it's been a while since I made a video like this, so it's good to be back on the camera again. But yeah, until next time, uh, catch me if you can. See you guys. 
Bye, Daniel.